speaking is the highest paid profession. You can make in one hour what people take their whole year to make. ultimate vehicle ladies and gentlemen I want you to bring your, your your hands together I want you to get up on your feet I want you to bring your your cameras on and bring a warm welcome to my friend my mentor mr. Dave Van Hoos <laughs> thank you wow welcome home everybody well I am so excited and challenge excited because over the next 90 minutes i'm going to walk you through behind the scenes of how to pivot to profit and in fact what i'm about to share with you tonight on this very special training is there's a big reason why and one of my big reasons why is this see i believe the world needs to have a lot of changes i believe that there's a lot of things that are happening in this world and I don't believe that government's going to figure it out. I believe it's going to be authors, speakers, coaches, and entrepreneurs in the world that are going to have to make the difference. Now, one of the biggest challenges that I think we're facing is how do we do it now? Things have changed now. We can't go back and speak on a seminar. We can't go out there and network at events to get customers. So we have to change. And so I got with my partner, Ray. I'm like, Ray, I have to get this information out. I've got to share with these very powerful people of how to pivot to profit. So today, what you're about to discover is the 7P formula that took me from my credit card to Inc. 500. And in fact, in a moment, I'm going to share with you and teach you exactly what we're doing in our business now. In fact, I'm going to pull the curtain behind and show you exactly what's working, what's not working, what we had to pivoted to profit today. And I'm here to share with you, there is a lot of my clients out there that are crushing it, absolutely doing better than ever. But we have to change what we're doing. So we're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, I'm going to share with you exactly how to do this. Now, before I begin, I have four rules before I begin. Rule number one, is it okay with all of us if we have fun? So I want you to go right now because life's about fun. If you're ready to have some fun, go to the chat and just say, yes, Dave. And I will not start this training until I get everybody to commit <laughs> to having some fun, right? <laughs> oh. All right, I see a lot of you ready to have some fun. Rule number two is I promise to give you 110%. I promise over the next 90 minutes, I'm gonna share with you and I'm gonna teach you and show you everything we're doing in our business now. So I promise to play full out. But rule number three, this is gonna be an interactive experience, my friends. The more you can give information to me, the more I can serve, and provide value for you. So I'm gonna be asking, this is gonna be an interactive training. In fact, Albert Einstein says, problems cannot be solved by the same level of thinking that's created them. I hope that's making sense and you guys are getting this. So today, you're here to solve some problems. So that being said, I wanna to go to the chat right now and I wanna ask you a couple key questions. Number one, I would like to know what industry are you in? Are you in real estate, personal development? Are you an internet marketer? Are you in the health, the wealth? Just let me know, because obviously most of you probably know this, over the last 15 years, 
I've been considered one of the top speaking coaches in the world and worked with thousands and thousands of speakers all around the world. And so I know that they're looking for joint venture opportunities and people to do business with. So the next question I have is, and I want you to think about this for a moment. What is the biggest challenge in your business? I'd like to know what that is so that I can customize my presentation and make sure I go over because there is no problems. There's only solutions and strategies. So I see some of you that are saying monetizing your content. I see systemizing. I see uh, speaking, how to monetize. So I see a lot of people that are, have some certain issues. The fourth rule before I begin is I always come to serve. I'm here to provide as much value and I'll be here as long as I need to be here to help you. And the reason I do this is because I believe that each one of us has a message inside of us or a passion and a purpose. And the thing that I don't want to happen is that at the end of your life that you left that message or that passion inside of you. So I've come here to serve, to share with you the seven P's to your success. Now, in fact, it's, I believe it's in giving that you receive, right? In fact, how many of you go to the chat right now that you believe it's in giving that you receive? Let me see. Absolutely. Haley, Jack, Danny, Curtis Banks. So, what I want to talk to you is something before I begin. This is what I call the universal success principles. This is something I learned on my journey to success. You know, success principle, or what I call universal laws. See, this universe is a cause and an effect universe, meaning there are things that just come out of thin air. There's specific causes that create an effect. There is laws. So the first law that I learned is this. You've got to believe it's possible for you. Meaning, write this down. Everything starts from the inside out. I can share with you the seven Ps. I can tell you that I made eight figures. But if you don't believe it's possible for you, it's not going to happen. So for me, I believed it was possible that I can make eight figures in one year. And I did. The second rule of success that I learned was modeling. See, I learned this from Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins says, if you model what other successful people do, you will become successful. So you're here to look at my model, my partner's model, and you're here to shop models. The third thing is successful people have systems. Now, does anybody know what the acronym of system is? Save yourself time, energy, and money, right? So I'm going to share with you my presentation system. I'm going to share with you my online funnel system. And I'm going to share with you my business strategy system. The fourth rule is, is leverage. See, one of the things I want you to consider tonight, I don't want you to do a whole bunch of things good. I want you to do one thing great. And tonight I'm going to talk to you what I call the ultimate leverage of how we can pivot to profit. <clears throat> the next rule is, is I believe in self-mastery. To always consistently improve myself to get better and better. And that's what you want to do on your journey to success. The next universal success principle, write this down, is you got to take action. Write this down. The universe doesn't pay you for what you know. It pays you for what you do, right? So you've got to take action. Don't be paralyzed. And there's a lot of distractions going on, my friends. You know, and I don't want you to get caught involved. You know, to me, I read, I read a book, a spiritual book about 15 years ago. It told me to turn off my TV. And you know what? It's been 15 years, and I haven't turned it on since, right? Because what we focus on, write this down, expands. If you focus more on the problem, you'd be more part of the problem. You're going to manifest it more of the problem. 
So that's why I'm here tonight. I'm here tonight to help you take different actions to get different results. Is that making sense? Now, what you're about to discover in a moment. In a moment, I'm gonna share with you and teach you how to create a successful business today. In a moment, I'm gonna share with you the seven P's to success. I'm also about to share with you in a moment of how to take your J-O-B, which we all know is journey of the broke, into your J-O-Y. And you're also about to discover uh, a lot of amazing things our presentation blueprint, which I'm gonna go over, and I'm also, you're about to discover what we're doing online of how we've pivoted to profit. And I promise you that by the end of this presentation, you're gonna get more value out of our time together than you would have ever imagined. I promise you that by the end of this presentation, you're gonna have crystal clarity on exactly what your next step is. Now, there's a problem that we're facing. And the problem is what? Well, one of the big problems is that a lot of you don't know how to stand out from your competition. You know, there's a lot of people online now. Anybody can take their camera out and say they're an expert. There's a big problem. People don't know how to connect to their customers. A big problem is people don't know how to leverage the power of social media correctly. And also, one of the biggest problems that a lot of people are facing right now is cash flow. In fact, I read a statistics by Forbes magazine that said 60% of businesses are not going to reopen. <coughs> 60%. And one-fourth of people have kind of lost their jobs, right? So there's a big problem. And a big problem is, is people need more leads, they need to get more customers, and they don't know how to get a flow of leads online, and a lot of people are struggling right now. In fact, one of the biggest problems that most people have in their business is Pareto's principle, the 80-20 rule. In fact, most of you are working 80% to get 20% profits, right? So one of the things I want to suggest is to work smarter, not harder, right? So I want you to flip-flop of how you can get 20% of your efforts to get 80% of your results. Why? So that you can have the freedom to spend doing your nonprofit work. You can have the freedom to go on a spiritual journey. So one of the things we're gonna talk about how to work smarter, not harder. In fact, here's some crazy statistics. Statistic number one, Forbes magazine and Inc. magazine says small business owners only average revenue is only 44000 a year. Imagine that, right? If you have a job, you're making 60000 a year. Statistically, you should keep your job, right? And get this, 70% of people who have a business report that they don't have enough time for their children, which is sad. In fact, more statistics... 82% of people check their email or on vacation. And here's a huge statistic that I want to go over. 95% of people who actually work more time in their business than they had a job. I want you to go to the chat right now. What's the number one reason why most people start a business? To have what? Freedom, right? But statistically, people are not having that. You know, a big challenge that I see that you're facing is 60% of people are on the verge of a nervous breakdown, my friends. So there is a lot of challenges out there that we're facing as entrepreneurs, and there's a big problem out there. In fact, here's a huge statistics. Forbes magazine says 8 out of 10 businesses will fail within 18 months. So imagine and picture that. We're better off taking all of our money, all of our kids' money, and going to Vegas and betting on black than to statistically start a business, right? So I did a lot of research of why do most businesses fail. So I want you to think about that for a moment. So I want us to become aware so that we don't become another statistic. I want you to think about and go to the chat right now 
Why do you think most businesses fail? Go ahead and put that in the chat for a moment. I'm just curious to see what you feel is the biggest problem. Not enough exposure, lack of knowledge, no systems. They don't use social media. Well, here's what's really interesting. More discipline, no websites. The Small Business Association said the number one reason why most businesses fail is because they can't get a customer. Right? You can be the best coach. You can have the cure to cancer. However, if you can't get a customer, you're going out of business. And today, there's a big challenge, right? So people are frustrated. How do I get a customer now? I can't go to networking groups. I can't door knock. Uh, I have a big challenge now. People are stressed out, right? There's a lot of people freaking out right now. There's a lot of people that are angry. There's a lot of people that are confused. What do I do? Do I write a book? Do I buy Infusionsoft? What am I supposed to do in this new model? I can't go speak on a stage anymore. I can't go to the networking groups where I got my customers. So there's a lot of confusion. And there's people that are in doubt, right? Oh my gosh. And people are burned out. There is a lot of fear going on in the world out there. So the solution that I want to share with you is what I call the seven P's to your success. And in fact, we're going to break these P's down here in a moment. The first P that we're going to talk about here in a moment is passion. The first thing that we really want to discover is what are we passionate about? Step number two, P number two is we've got to have a plan. P number three we're going to talk about today is how do you have a pitch? How do you create that core story, that webinar presentation, or that signature talk to get customers. The fourth P we're going to talk about is your product. The fifth P we're going to talk about promotion. How do you get your product and service out to the world, especially now? In the sixth P, write this down, is platform. And then after all the P's, we put them together to the middle P, which is we need to profit royally. See, a lot of people do a lot of things in their business, and they work hard, but they don't profit. And so we're going to break these down here in a moment. In fact, let me tell you about one of my students, Russell Brunson. In fact, probably a lot of you know Russell. Well, I met Russell back in the day in Dan Kennedy's mastermind group when I was in Dan Kennedy's. Russell was a young guy. He spoke very fast. He was a very introverted guy. He wasn't a fan of speaking. He hated speaking from stage. And I got with Russell and said, Russell, let me help you. Let me develop your speaking ability. Let me show you how to do webinars and seminars. So Russell said to me, he says, Dave, I'm not a speaker. And in fact, I looked at his model, and one of the things that he was missing, which we're going to talk about here today, is his back end. He was an internet marketer. See, back in the day, I think there was three categories. You were a coach. You were an internet marketer or you were a speaker, right? Today, you have to be all three, right? So Russell was an internet marketer. He did not want to be there. So I convinced Russell. I said, Russell, I taught him my webinar blueprint, which we'll go over here in a moment. I taught about how to put a big back on. I helped him put his first event on. And I showed him how to sell his first mastermind. And we did. And we made like $400,000 and we split it 50-50. So I'm going to share with you and teach you what I've been teaching all these celebrity speakers, coaches, and authors in the world today. We're going to go there in a moment. Now, what I taught Russell was this, the mathematical formula of how do you build a perfect pitch. So there's five key components in my mathematical presentation blueprint of how to build a presentation and that's one of the keys to his success. The second key, which I'll mention a little bit later, which today I've heard that he's worth a billion dollars today. But see, these are the small hinges that swing big doors. Now, let's start off with the first question. 
Dave, what is a successful business? I want you to listen to me and focus. The first thing that we wanted to find in successful business is number one, is what is your passion? Right? See, some of you, most, most of you might know, Dave, I'm passionate about health. I'm passionate about teaching people and coaching people. So that's step number one. Step number two is you need to write this down, add value through your passion. Okay, some of you are stuck here. Dave, I'm a coach. I love helping people. Dave, I give tremendous value. But most of you write this down, become a free consultant or a free coach. How many of you know what I'm talking about, right? How many of you might know somebody else that is a free coach and free consultant? So step number three is very important, which is you got to be able to monetize your passion, right? And this is where I got stuck. I started my business. I was very passionate. I was adding value. And I started making money. But then three years went by like this. I made $14 million, right? So I was monetizing it, but I got caught in the game. So step number four, which we're going to talk about, is how to automate your business. And then the last step, which is most important, is you got to have a ton of fun. Let me go back. So you got to have a ton of fun. Now, what's your big why, right? What's your big why? So there's a lot of reasons why you could be in business to travel, to have charity, to retire, to buy your dream house, buy your new car, you know, turn your J-O-B into your J-O-Y. Or because most of you probably, like me, want to change the world. In fact, I want you to think about that for a moment. What's your big why? And I want you to go to the chat. I'm just curious to figure out what is your big why? For me, my big why has always been. I asked, why did I do all this? Why did I get an airplane 3,000 times and speak all around the world? Why did I build an Inc. 500 company? You know, and to me, it came down to this. I love to help and serve people. There's something inside of me that wants to give back and help. So for me, it's always mission-based is what really, really motivates me. It's not the money. It's not the things. It's always been about the people that come to me and says, oh my gosh, Dave, you know, you changed my life. That feels better to me than any materialistic thing that I've been able to attain in this lifetime. So the next thing is, is the time is now. One of the things I'm going to be breaking down here in a moment is obviously over the last 15 years, I've been speaking on thousands and thousands of stages. In fact, this is a picture of me speaking at the Get Motivated circuit. But the time has changed. There's a new era. In fact, what I'm going to share with you is how now to pivot to profit, right? I'm going to share with you exactly what I've been doing in the last couple days leading up to COVID to now. I'm going to be breaking it down to show with you how I've been able to maneuver through these times. Now, you might be wondering, who am I and why should you listen to me, right? So one of the biggest things that I have a rule, and my rule is this. If I'm going to listen to somebody that's going to teach me how to get into shape, they better be in better shape than me. If I'm going to listen to somebody that's going to teach me about wealth, they should have 10 times the wealth or experience that I have. So real quick, I don't want to spend a lot of time myself, but most of you might not know this. My name's Dave Van Hoos. I founded the 35th fastest growing company in America. I made Inc. 500. I've helped generate over $100 million in sales in multiple, multiple, multiple businesses. I've delivered over 5,000 presentations. That's how I invented that presentation blueprint. It was through trial and error. I was considered a speaker coach of the year, AKA by known as a celebrity speaker coach for many years, which you'll see in a moment, some of my students that I've worked with. I've authored five books. My first one, Winning Now, Turn Your J-O-B to Your J-O-Y, Sell More, The Forbidden Secrets to Mass Persuasion. So I have a lot of, lot of knowledge in, in, in business and personal experience. In fact, one of my biggest 
uh, experiences was getting opportunity to speak at the Get Motivated circuit. In fact, I got to speak on the stage with Mayor Giuliani, General Powell, Terry Bradshaw, Brian Tracy. In fact, I was very blessed to follow a guy by the name of Zig Ziglar. In fact, does anybody know who Zig Ziglar is, right? So I got to follow Zig, and I had a great time of the speaking model. Now, we're going to talk today about the transition that we have to make as a speaker. Now, I've been very blessed to be able to work with some of the top people in the world. In fact, Les Brown called me up and says, Dave, hey, I need some help. I need to pivot. Can you write my webinar presentation? And can you work with me so that I can take my business online? So in fact, I work with Les. I used to follow Zig. I wrote a book with Dan Kennedy. If you know who Dan Kennedy is, called Powerful Presentations. Uh, lots of coach, personally have coached Tony Robbins' son on speaking. Uh, all kinds of different people around the world. In fact, I actually wrote the presentation for Jamin Johns, the Shark Tank guy. So I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of experience working with a lot of celebrity speakers in the world. Now, let me tell you how this began because I think it's very important because this. Do you know what successful people do? Is they learn from their mistakes. Write this down. There's never failure, there's just feedback. You know what really successful people do? Is they learn from other people's mistakes, right? So I'm here to share with you my experience. So let's start off from the beginning. So we're going to go over the seven Ps. And what I thought about was this. I was asked the question, Dave, how did you take your business from a credit card to Inc. 500 in less than three years? Which is insane. And I thought about it, and I reverse engineered the steps in what I did. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to go over the seven Ps and you guys are going to understand this process. So real quick, um, my name's Dave Van Hoos. I actually grew up in Michigan. And in fact, uh, I went to college at Eastern Michigan. And I got my degree in sports medicine. Which is interesting when we start to connect the dots backwards of where I, how I ended up here today. But I want to take you on that journey. So I'm in Eastern Michigan. I graduate from college. I moved to Florida. And I did my internship at Morton Plant Hospital and became a therapist. So the first part of my life, I was a therapist. So I treated patients every day. I would get up and I would pray to God to help and to give me the ability, the power to help heal people, to assist people. So the first part of my life, I was a therapist. And then I got my first big break. A professional football team called me up. So I became a professional football trainer and I was on top of the world. I was on ESPN TV, NBC TV. I had an absolutely incredible time. And I never thought that I would be able to get to that level. And then I'll never forget this moment where I got injured very well. And I'll never forget, I wake up and I'm in the hospital. And I can't feel my legs. And I'm in so much pain. And the doctor comes strolling in. And he puts my MRI and my x-ray on the board. And I'm like, Doc, what's wrong with me? I'm in so much pain. I can't feel my legs. I knew there was something wrong. He says, son, you've got a broken back with a par fracture L5-S1 with a herniated disc. So long story short, they rushed me into the surgery. It took two surgeons, 12 hours. And what they did is they cut me in the anterior part. They moved my organs out of the way and they actually did what they call a spinal fusion. They, they screwed my spine together. This is still in my back, and I'll never forget that moment of waking up. And I remember seeing my mom crying, and I could hear that hospital cell, smell, that sound, and I could smell that hospital smell. And I'll never forget this second where I felt my heart racing, and as I came back, oh my gosh, I can't feel my legs. And I don't know if you've ever been in a situation when your whole life went by like this. And I, everything I thought it was was a football trainer, and now 
at 29 years old, I'm paralyzed. And I was devastated. And I'll never forget, I had to learn how to walk again. I had to learn how to function again. And it was a very, very challenging thing. So some of you might be in a life-crushing event. So I'm thinking, well, I can't go back to football. So I decided to number one. Write this down. P number one is I had to determine what is my new passion. Right? I have to figure out what am I passionate about. Well, I said, you know what? I love to help people. So I determined what my passion was. Then the second thing I had to do was, Dave, I got to create a plan, right? So I had this idea that I was going to become a coach and I was going to help people, right? And this idea I had, I took my credit card out to launch this business and I launched this business. Guess how many customers I got the first month? Just go ahead in the chat. I launched this business. <laughs> Zero, right? See, I thought if you had a good idea, customers would show up. So I had this idea of not selling one-to-one, -one, but selling one-to-many. So I want you to write this down. Education-based marketing. I want you to write that down. So I decided to build value first, right? Because as a therapist, I like to build value. So I decided to put my first seminar on in a Denny's restaurant. I got 12 people to my first free seminar. And I did my presentation. Guess how many customers I got the first time? Zero. <laughs> that's right. So I'm like, how do you get a customer? And that's when P number three came in is, Dave, you got to develop a pitch. Right? You got to develop a pitch. And I did. I started to learn. So that's how I created the mathematical presentation was the pitch. So now I define my passion. I had a plan and I created a pitch. And guess what? From going from the hospital to the first year, I did a million dollars in sales. So you guys want to know what a million dollar looks like? It looked like this, right? But more importantly, do you want to know what a million felt like, right? Life's about feelings. I felt like this, right? A fat cat. <laughs> it's okay. I told you we're going to have some fun. So now I am in the first year of my business. So now I knew my passion. I had a plan and I had a pitch. Now here's this. How many of you are coaches? Let me see yours. How many of you are coaches? So here's what I learned. Stop selling your time and sell a system. So I did. I decided to develop a product. So I productized and created different products, which we'll talk about in a moment. And because I created a product, the fourth P, guess what? I did three million the second year. So you know what three million looks like? <laughs> it looks like this, right? But more importantly, do you wanna know what three million felt like? That's the key, right? I felt like this. <laughs> yeah, baby, right? Because you have to understand what's going through my mind. I'm still recovering from back surgery. I have a full body cast. I'm totally embarrassed, right? I'm an athlete. Now I can't even barely wash dishes or do laundry because I had so much pain. And now I'm in my second year of business and things are going well. Now, here's the next lesson. Now that I had the product, I had to learn about, write this down, P number five, promotion. Dave, how do you get this out to the masses, right? How do you get this out? So that's when, a long time ago, I got smarter and not worked harder, and this is when I created our online webinar blueprint. So one of the things that you want to consider is this. Step number one is who is your ideal customer? Step number two is where are we gonna get the traffic? So again, we're gonna drive traffic using LinkedIn, Facebook, affiliates, right? And we're gonna drive them into our squeeze page. And then if they opt in for our webinar, we're gonna create three videos where then they're gonna come to your online event, just like we're doing here. 
Then at the online event, using that mathematical presentation blueprint that I just shared with you, at the end of your presentation, they're going to click a button to go to the pre-registration page and then to the order page to buy. Okay? So imagine and then picture this. What would it be like for you and your business if 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you have a super salesman, not only in your state or the whole state of Florida, all around the world can now go to your webinar and buy your product. So this is when the light bulb went on and I said, Dave, the next P, write this down, is your platform. And when I got this, that's when I did something very, 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 very few speakers, authors, and coaches did. I didn't make seven figures, my friends. I made eight figures. I did 14 million in my third year. And this is what it looked like my third year. But you want to know what it felt like? It felt like this. <laughs> Is it okay if we can have some fun? So because of the seven P's and what I learned, guess what? Inc. 500 Magazine calls me up and I was the 35th fastest growing company in the whole United States of America. From a kid that barely made it through high school that was barely broken up from back surgery. And this was the key. So I want everybody to write this down. The seven P's equals your freedom. Right? Your freedom to do what you want, to buy whatever you want, and to have fun to get your message out. So these are the seven P's. In fact, how many of you are excited to learn more about the seven P's? Anybody interested? <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about the first P, which is your passion. So to me, what you really want to define. Now, does anybody know what is the definition of passion, by the way? Does anybody know what that is? If you do, write it down in the chat. What is the definition of passion? To me, the definition of passion, the passion of Christ is what are you willing to sacrifice for, right? So I hear people say, Dave, I'm passionate about helping people. I'm passionate about real estate. I'm passionate about this. What are you willing to sacrifice? And to me, when I'm in my mission, I'm willing to sacrifice everything in my life. The second thing you want to consider is what is your core genius? See, one of the biggest things that I've learned is I don't want you to be good at a whole bunch of things. I want you to be great at one. So I found out what is my core genius? Step number two is what is going to be your legacy, right? See, a lot of us are at that point. We've got, we don't got too many summers left, my friends. We've got to start thinking, what is our legacy, right? And then what is our mission? See, I believe all of us have a mission, a purpose that is inside of us. It's not outside of us. It's inside of us. We all have a purpose and a destiny, so step number one, or P number one, is really to find that passion, right? And so after you drive that passion, let me give you an example, my friend Davin Michael. Some of you might know Davin, but I met Davin about 10 years ago. And Davin came and he says, you know, Dave, I'm passionate about helping entrepreneurs get their life back. And I said, what, Davin, tell me what you do. He goes, I own a company called 123 Employee, and I teach entrepreneurs how to use virtual assistants so they can get their life back. I said, okay, Greg. I said, what are you passionate about, too? He goes, I love to entertain people. I love to speak. Well, great. I taught him my presentation blueprint. I actually wrote his presentation, taught him the speaking business. And if you know him, he's been all over the world, speaking all over the world, having fun. In fact, the greatest thing was, is I talked to him. He interviewed me on his podcast. Uh, he lives in Puerto Rico right now. Does anybody know why he lives in Puerto Rico? Does anybody have an idea? It's called 4% taxes. Because he told me, he goes, Dave, I've made over $20 million from you. 
So obviously for him, he lives over in Puerto Rico part-time. This is me visiting him in Puerto Rico, having lots of fun. So this is something I want you to consider. Now, one of my next clients, again, is very passionate about this. She says, Dave, I'm very passionate about helping women entrepreneurs. She says, I believe if women ran the world, the world be in a better place. And so her passion, she says, Dave, I want to help more women. I want to get my message out to the world. And again, my partner branded her. I worked on her speaking skills, and I taught her the speaking model. And today, she's having great fun. She has an amazing uh, group of women that pay her $20,000 to be in her inner circle. And she has a great life doing what she's passionate about. Now, after you define your passion, number two is you got to have a plan. And to me, the biggest thing you want to look for in a plan is you want to model success. See, I believe if you model other successful people do, you will become successful, right? So you want to model success. You want to create your plan where you build your funnel, which we'll talk about that. And you want to have a strategy that works. See, most people will give you a strategy that worked a year ago or two years ago or three years ago. However, as we know, you have to pivot to profit. You have to change that strategy, which we're going to talk about here in a moment. Now, one of the biggest things is when you're modeling success, you want to model an expert. Not, there's a lot of false profits out there. You want to model somebody who has 10,000 hours that actually done what they say they're going to do, right? And when you build your funnel uh, and your blueprint, you want to make sure that you have an effective strategy. And I'm going to share with you here in a moment some of the plan and the models that we're using so that you can copy them. Now, let's talk about the funnel. So one of the things that you want to consider is this. If, if you're in the real estate business or in the coaching business, whatever business you're in, you're not in that business. You're in the customer acquisition business that does what you do. See, you can have whatever product or service or coaching you want, but if you can't get a customer, right? So let's talk a little bit about what happened in March, okay? Most of you probably don't know this, but I've been in this business for a long, long, long time. In fact, I've retired twice. My last retirement was, I was on top of the world, I had every materialistic thing that you wanted, but I was missing something. And me being the top speaking coach in the world, I got to reek with all the best energy healers, the best personal development people, the best doctors, people in the world, and I decided to go on a spiritual journey. I met Guruji from India, I decided that I wanted to take an inward journey, I left my business, all my material possessions, I lived in an ashram for four years, shaving my head, wearing a right robe, trying to find out what's the purpose of life. So after I did four years of that, in fact, it was amazing. I actually fasted for 42 days. I lear learned about energies and frequencies, and I learned a lot of different things. So I come out, and I'm like, what am I going to do next? Right? And the first thing I did is, Dave, take out the seven Ps. You need to define what are you passionate about. So I defined that. The second P is what's going to be your plan, right? So my plan was, okay, let's find a good joint venture partner. And let's find somebody to team up with. So I meet my new partner, Ray Perez, and Ray says, hey, Dave. I invite him over to my house, and he says, hey, I'm having an event. Why don't you come and, and, and come and speak at it? I'm like, well, I really haven't been out there for a while. I'll come by. So I drive down to Miami. I come to his event. He goes, hey, why don't you come up here and speak? Got up there on the stage, and because I have my speaking blueprint, and because I've been doing this for many years, I did my presentation. And at the end of my presentation, I said, everybody get up and go to that back table to register. And I created a, a $20,000 program. And I closed 100% of the room. 100% of the room at 20 Gs. And Ray was like, holy mackerel. 
because in his mind, he had the event. He didn't think anybody was going to do that. Now, then from there, he goes, hey, come to my next event. I went to his next event and next event. So we started building out our speaking business, which I'm going to show with you how easy it is. So now we're on track. It's been a year. This year coming up right now, I said, we're going to hit 3 million. And this is starting from scratch again. And March 30th hits. I convinced a guy to let me speak on a stage in Canada with 5,000 people with Grant Cardone. So 5,000 people, I'm going to speak and sell. You can do the math. COVID hits overnight, event canceled. We have to cancel our masterminds. We got to cancel all our events. All the speakings went zero. And to be very transparently, I'm like, what the heck? What are we going to do? Right? So I got into meditation, talked to some of my spiritual people, and they're like, take your business online. So I got with my partner, Ray, and he said, dude, we've got to change our whole business model. Right? So in that instant, while everybody's in fear and panicking, we're thinking, see, I don't have any fear now. There's nothing to be afraid of, right? So that's my belief. So I said, well, we got to do something different. So we did. He says, hey, let's take our business online. So what we decided to do was this. Hey, instead of doing the live events, let's do a webinar. We'll invite people to come to our webinar. And we'll take our three-day boot camp and we'll put it online, okay? Which we did. We took everything we did and I thought about it, constructed it, and we put it online. And what we did is we then offered up our stuff. So right in the middle, I want to share with you exactly what we did so that you can learn from it. So this next slide that comes up is an Excel spreadsheet. Now, as you can see here, what is the date on that? That is for uh, January, February, March, January, February, March, April. So April, right in the middle of it, you can see that what we did is we decided to take our business online. And again, because I understood what we were doing, having our upsells and our products and our presentation. And that month we did very well. How much did we do? Let's see. We did $52,000 in that month. There's April 15th, 2020, and you can see right there. Now, how did we do it, right? Most people don't make 50,000 in a year. This is in the middle of the crisis when everybody is panicking, going to the store, buying toilet paper. As everybody's in the store buying toilet paper, we're sitting out, what are we gonna do, right? See, I turned my TV off 10, 15 years ago. I don't participate in rubbish, right? Write this down. What you focus on expands. Why everybody's caught in paralyzation, everybody's caught in the, in the, in the stupidity, there's going to be more millionaires created now than ever. I hope that you guys get that, right? So, what we decided to do, which I'll share with you in a moment, is we created our online business. Now, the thing that I had to do was, man, we got to take our business online. Ray, we've got to create our webinar pitch, right? P number three was pitch. So I took the mathematical presentation blueprint out using what I've been teaching for the last 10 years. Now, when you write your presentation, there's five key components. How many key components? Five. You've got the introduction to your webinar, which is one of the most important things. Number two, you have the story, how stories sell, facts tell. Number three, you have the offer. Most people wait to the end. You want to put it there. And then number four, which is the body, which you want to build value. And then you've got the most important thing, which is the close. What's the most important thing? The close, right? Are you guys getting this? Is this making sense to you? So then, after we built the pitch and we put that, guess what? Second month in COVID, May 13th. Guess what? By doing this, 
We did a, I did 134,000 that month, right? So people are saying, oh my gosh, nobody's going to buy. Nobody's going to do this. Do you know how many times I've heard that in my lifetime as a speaker? My people are broke. My people aren't going to buy. People are not buying. Listen, I've been through this industry back all the way back when we had overhead projector, right? I have been through 2006, 2007, where overnight I was doing 2,000 seminars a year. My company, we had 100 employees and nobody showed up the next month. So, no matter in the good times or bad times, right, your economy isn't on the outer world. Your economy is where? In the inner world, my friends. Doesn't mean there's less money out there. There's actually more opportunity because everybody's stuck in fear. Right? So, May, we decided to do that. Now, here's some of the things we decided to do. We didn't know what was going to work. So we started testing different products. And you want to hear something interesting? Here's how we did it. Here's exactly what we did. And I'll actually show it to you in a moment. Actually, I should. So the next thing is we developed our product line. One of the things that we decided to do, which is what I love to do, is to give value first. Me and Ray put on a two-hour free training. Write this down. It's always free to come, paid to leave. <laughs> right? Build value first. And when you do it correctly, using that presentation blueprint, then people are going to buy. So what we decided to do was take our online, our, our boot camp, our three-day boot camp, which was valued at $5,000. Okay? And we sold it for $9.97. But we took the whole thing online. It was crazy because we're doing that. We have a studio. The guy locks us out of the studio. We're moving everything into Ray's house. And we're doing our live event. So we sold our three-day boot camp. Now, here's one of the tricks that we did, our strategies. The sales process is like the dating process. You can't meet somebody on the first date and ask them to marry you. Right? So the first date was the two-hour free training. Then from there, we upsold them into the 997 three day. We actually did a two day boot camp. Instead of three days, we did it two days. Does anybody know why we did it two days instead of three days? Because of commitment level. I figured that if somebody was going to be on a webinar, then they're not going to want to give up three days. And we're online. So we did two days. And guess what we did? Write this down. VIP. If you would like to make more money, guess what? Spend more time with quality prospect. Smart marketers segment their list. So what we decided to do, which I do at my events, is we did a one-click upsell for VIP. So the people could come to the two days, buy that first, and then, hey, would you like to come to the third day, which will do a mastermind implementation? And, and we did the three days. Now, does anybody know why three days is more important than two days in sales? We had more time to build, build rapport with people, right? And then, as you can see, I'll go back. On the three day, we offered up a, an event for $2,500. And you can see from that event, all the people that bought that program, right? And this is what, when you want to create your customer flow. So one of the things you want to look at is this. You want to create your product. You want to have that lead magnet. The first product that you want to sell is that home study or that product. And then your event, and then you want to offer up your high-end ticket, okay? So again, what we did is we took all of our products and we put them online. So these are all the different products and workshops that we have. Now let me sum it up to you like this. Your business is like a funnel. 
I want all of you to draw out a funnel like this right now. I want you to think about who is your customer and where are you going to get your traffic or leads from. So on the top of that funnel, you can get them from Facebook, LinkedIn, affiliates, right? So there's a lot of ways you want to drive traffic. And here's what we want to do. The first thing that we drive traffic is we give a free, a free product. So give away your book. Give away a blueprint. Give away a checklist. And by the way, if you're going to give a free product away, books are not good products to give away. People want a little checklist to get them a little win. Create a little checklist, a little blueprint, okay? Then after they opt in there, then you want to have your low ticket item, which typically is about $297 to $500. So you have that mid-tier product. And then you want to create your medium product. And then your high-end product. And then your mastermind. So what you're looking to do is this. I want everybody to look at me real closely and focus. What we're doing is we're driving leads and traffic in. Sifting through who wants to work with you and who do you want to work with. Because trust me on this, you don't want to work with everybody. It took me three years as a coach. I thought I could save everybody. You can't. So this is it. And we talked about Pareto's law, the 80-20 rule. 80% will come in, 20% will buy the first product, and then 20% of 20% of the four percenters. The four percenters in the list buy the high-end stuff. Okay. Is this making sense? Are you guys getting this? And if you guys are liking this, just say, yes, Dave. Great. So again, we built that funnel out. And guess what? We, then, we didn't think about, hey, in this COVID, is people going to pay for high-end product? Guess what? We added an online mastermind. And guess what? In June, selling different products, selling my franchises and everything, while everybody's still paralyzed, guess what? $500,000, $515,000 in the middle of the pandemic. Now, let's go to the next P. Promotion. All right? Now, we're doing our webinars. We're doing our stuff. Guess what? I have no fear. You know what? I decided I'm going to start doing events again. So two months ago, I did an event in Vegas, small little workshop in Vegas. I went from Vegas to Atlanta, which Atlanta didn't shut down. I spoke in front of realtors there, offered up a coaching program. Went from there, we, I put an event on with 100 chiropractors on Clearwater Beach. And I sold, mastermind, I sold uh, franchises there. And then from there, I went to Utah. So for me, guess what? Speaking business isn't over with for me. There's events going on, and I, have no, I have no fear. I've been on more plane rides as everybody's been paralyzed. You know what? I've been on planes all around the world. See, I believe differently. I believe there is no disease. It's the disease of the mind, which is fear. That's my opinion, but that's another game. So you've got to figure out how you're going to promote Right? You can do webinars, teleseminars, podcasts. You're going to speak. Right? Maybe you're going to write your book. Right? So now you got to get that promotion out. And guess what? So we did the automated webinar system. I do the promotion. Right? And guess what? In July, when I thought I was paralyzed, so my partner says to me, he says, you know, Dave, I'm the branding guy. I'm like, okay. He goes, Dave, you're a superhero. I'm like, okay, superheroes drive supercars. Okay, so in the middle of pandemic, I'm in Miami with him, driving Rolls Royces, driving Bentleys, and guess what? I bought a new Bentley convertible, right? In the middle of this thing. Why? Hey, it was a great price. It's on sale, right? So guess what? July, 700000 Sold some master franchises. I've got lots of different things going on right now, right? Today... It's interesting. I got a call from the Rolls-Royce dealership. The guy says, hey, we've got the new, the new Ghost 
Rolls Royce, we want you to come down and test drive it. It hasn't even been out yet. So I picked up my little girl because we had a hurricane. As everybody was in, in fear of a hurricane, it never hit. Pick her up. We go down there. I'm telling my little girl, I'm driving down. I said, you know, honey, let me tell you about your dad. She says, Daddy, you're, you're this. I go, no. I grew up poor. I got held back from third grade to second grade. I was put in a resource room. I was told I'd never amount to anything. We were on food stamps. And now we're getting ready to drive a brand new Rolls Royce Ghost. And she goes, wow. So we pulled up there. They're nice to us. I got the opportunity to drive that car. Right? This is the business. There's no reason why we can't be in abundance. There's no reason. For me to manifest a Mustang or manifest a Rolls Royce, it's the same thing. I want you guys to get that. Is that making sense to you guys? Are you guys getting this? And would this work for you? It doesn't take a lot when you understand how to reproduce success. Success is a system, my friends. So the last P was the platform. So now we're building on our platform. So Ray builds our online platform. And so now we're doing good. So I'm going to give you some, some tactics that we've did on this journey. One of the tactics that we did is, hey, we want to get more hearts and seats to our webinar. So we did. We said, you know what? Let's get Les Brown, a celebrity, to come on our webinar. So what we decided to do was this. Our idea was, let's do Facebook ads. We'll get Les Brown to speak only for 10 minutes at the end, and then we can promote, hey, we're doing a webinar with Les Brown. So now, what we did here is I want you to see is this is the, the ad spend, and you can see here, we reached 92,000 people, right? We were paying $3, okay, per click, and we spent 2,000, $434.33. And then we spent a little bit more. Total spend about $3,000. Right? Now, would you guys like to see the copy that we use for this? Would you guys be interested? So again, we create a landing page. Okay? How Les Brown and I get paid more for how elevating our online brand. See there? We have the copy. We have a video right there of Ray inviting people to our what? Our webinar. They click the button at the bottom, register for the live training, right? This is all we did, right? We invited people to our webinar. Remember what I said, it's free to come and what? Paid to leave, right? How many of you would spend $3,000 to get 1,000 people on your webinar, right? And then at the end of the webinar, you're going to offer up your product. This is how it's done, my friends. Let me show you another one. Again, here's another webinar. Again, it's cut and paste. Cut and paste. It's the same thing, right? This one is how to monetize your mission, how to capitalize a new economy. Again, the register for the free training, just like this, okay? Now... Would you guys like to know a ninja strategy? How many of you want to make money now? <laughs> okay, good. So here's a cool one. When people click the button to register for your webinar, guess what? Me and Ray had this idea. Why not send them to a business strategy? So they register for your webinar. They get a congr hey, congratulations for signing up for the webinar. Hey, by the way, would you like a strategy session? For an extra $49, click here and we'll give you a strategy session. Now, does anybody know what happens on a strategy session? Does anybody know what happens on a strategy session? If you do, go to the chat and put what happens on a strategy session. What do you offer up on a strategy session? Wouldn't you like to upsell them into your high-end coaching? 
right? Remember what I said very specifically is to segment your list. There's a difference between somebody who comes to a free webinar and somebody who clicks and says, I come to the free webinar and I'd like a $49 strategy session. Write this down. A buyer is a buyer is a buyer. Right? Then we do the webinar using my mathematical presentation blueprint. And then at the end, they click a button, put their credit card in, and then they can buy the course, the online course. Okay? Are you guys with me on this? Are you guys liking that I'm showing you exactly what we're doing? You guys like that? You guys want more or are you done? Okay, some of you. All right. So one of the cool thing is, um, is we talked about this. And try to selling three days. That's a hard thing. So instead of three days, we sold two days. And then write this down. We did a one-click upsell. A one-click what? Upsell. So this is what it looked like. Wait, congratulations. How would you like to have an extra day, right, for there? So that's the one-click upsell to get them to the three days. So we chunked the product down to get them to the three days. Right, Cheryl? And Cheryl knows exactly what we're doing. So now, the last P that we talked about is now to profit. Right? There's a lot of people who have been in the speaking business. There's a lot of coaches out there. And they're broke. Right? Very few people have made seven figures. Very, very few people have made eight figures. But here's the cool thing. One, you've made it once, you can do it again. Right? So I want you guys to understand, you have to understand the mechanics of how to profit. So again, we talked about the seven Ps. P number one is you got to define your passion. Most of you probably at this level have determined what you're passionate about. Number two, you've got to create the right plan. Number three, you've got to develop that pitch. Number four, you've got to develop your product. Number five, you've got to get the promotion. And you've got to build that platform. And then you're going to profit. Is this making sense to you guys? Can you guys do this? Will you do this? In fact, how many of you would like to be one of my next success stories? Right? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Imagine and picture this. What would it feel like to be able to have, be on the biggest stages, do the biggest webinars, have the financial thing to launch your charities and your nonprofits, to work less, make more, and to be able to get your message out? Imagine and picture what it would be like because the biggest thing that I see is there's a lot of people not smiling. There's a lot of people that are scared. And that's why I'm doing this training. I get it. I was sitting in the same situation you were. Me and Ray are sitting there. Our whole business is done. We're in the speaking business. We're in the coaching business. The mastermind business. And we're sitting there. And I'll never forget this moment. We decided to pivot to profit, my friends. Have I built value for all of you? Did you guys enjoy this? Would it be okay with all of you if I shared how I can walk you through step-by-step step to help you? Would it be okay with everybody? Yes? So I want to tell you, this isn't for everybody. I've been in this business for a long, long time. So I'm not looking for people that are looking for a quick, rich scheme. I'm not looking for people who can't follow a system. And I'm not, I'm not interested in working with anybody if they have ego or arrogance. At this level, I don't need it. What I'm here to look for is this. People that want to change the world. People that have something inside of them that's going to help people. I'm looking for somebody who can follow a system and who wants a turnkey approach. So what we put together is something really special to help you. Number one is this. What are we going to teach you is the seven P's to success. And in this Thing. We're going to walk you through step by step to help you get more customers 
and more clients. So what we decided to do is put our online event together where it's a two-day experience. We're going to be breaking down step by step, showing you exactly what we've done in our business. Here's how we did it. Copy it. And the thing that we're going to do too is we're going to also give you the training now. We're going to give you our virtual online training, all of our checklists, all of our blueprints, everything so that you can start to celebritize your brand event. Now, the first thing that we're going to help you do is this. The first thing that we've got to solve is to show you how to get leads. We're going to share with you, we're going to teach you our instant lead system. We're going to show you how to get traffic and leads coming in the door. That's the first thing that we're going to do on that online training. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to give you all of the done for you marketing templates and scripts. Why? As you saw, just copy, right? Copy what we've done, take the done for you templates and use what works. The second, the third thing we're going to give you is what we call, we need to celebritize you. You need to be the thought leader. You need to celebritize your personal brand, right? So Ray, my partner, is the branding guy. He's going to share with you of how to be that celebrity brand. Why? Because when you're the celebrity, you can raise your prices, right? You can get more clients, right? And we want to differentiate yourself from everybody else. So he's going to share with you how to celebritize your personal brand. The next thing that we're going to give you is there he's going to teach you how to create your expert title, unique selling proposition, your credibility. This is a get or done workshop, by the way. I forgot to tell you. This is an information we're building it out together in a group, a small group, so that you will get these things done, right? That's the key to this training. The other thing that I'm going to share with you is something I'm very passionate about, which you saw was my one-to-many customer formula. We're going to show you, we're going to teach you of how to get clients today using our customer formula, exactly how to do that. And there's more. At this training, we're also going to share with you how to have that authority positioning system. See, because we're driving traffic and because we're using uh, traffic strategies, you have to be positioned as the authority. Is that making sense? Does anybody know what a celebrity is? Somebody from far away. <laughs> That's it. The next thing is, how many of you would like to know our personal brand action plan, the exact step-by-step -step to do? How many of you can follow directions? Let me see your hands. So we're also going to give you the personal brand marketing action plan, the exact plan. The cool thing about my partner, which you'll, if you haven't met, you'll love, he is the most detailed system checklist person on the planet. And the beautiful thing is, me and him tell you, it's one plus one equals 11. My superpower is I've worked with all the top speakers and showed them how to be the top speaker. His superpower is the process and systems. So both of us work together to work with you to build this out. I hope you guys are getting this. And so what we put together is we call the Celebritize Your Brand 7 P's Experience. Get authority, attract clients, raise your prices, and get more sales. And again, on this two-day training, we're going to teach you actually at this live event how to get leads, the marketing, the Celebritize You, the expert title, unique selling proposition, all done at this event, help you create your Credibility bio, your colors, right? And the one-to-many formula so you can start getting customers. The authority positioning system, the branding jumpstart. All of this valued at over $4,000. Now, let me ask you this question. If all this did for you was, was help you take your coaching business or your business online, and you made like we did the first couple months, maybe $10,000 a month. Would it be worth the investment? Yes or yes? Be honest. If all this did for you was, was get you to make six figures next year and you had a great life helping get your message out, would it be worth the investment? Yes or yes? Absolutely. If all this did for you was, was to really 
get into your mission and get your message out to the world where you're changing thousands and thousands and with me, millions and millions of lives, would it be worth the investment? Absolutely. So what we decided to do today is I decided to do something absolutely incredible. Why? Because I love to empower leaders to empower the world. So we decided to do something very special. So today we discount this price. And the reason we discount this price is because we don't have to do it at a hotel room. We don't have to fly there. We do everything together virtually right from your home. So the total risk-free investment for this complete training is only $9.97, my friends. But I know what you say. You say, Dave, can you do better than that, right? Dave, can you do better? Well, I decided to talk to Ray. I said, Ray, let's do something absolutely incredible for our thought leaders, our superheroes out there. They need to have superpower to change the world. So let me ask you this question. Would it be okay with all of you if we just covered our time and our product and service? Would it be okay with all of you if we just did that? So again, I decided to take an even better discount. Instead of the $9.97, here's what I'm willing to do. For the first 10 of you that take action now, guess what, my friends? I'm gonna do it for $97, my friends. This is a no-brainer. So what you wanna do, and this isn't the real price, so what you have to do is go to celebritizeyourbrand.com. You have to put in a special discount code, and don't share this code with anybody. It's save now. So go ahead, you can put that in the chat, Cheryl or Jay. Click the button now, go to celebritizeyourbrand.com. Okay, you're gonna see the whole product you're going to see $9.97, $1,000. Put, if you want to pay the full price, go ahead, please. We'll accept it. If you want the discount, put save now, and it's only going to be $97, my friends. This is a no-brainer, okay? And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm very clear what my mission is. I understand exactly why I'm here. I'm here to empower the leaders, the speakers, the authors, and the coaches to go out there and make the difference. The problem is that most of you don't know how to get your mission out. Most of you don't even know how to do a webinar. Most of you don't know how to get a customer. Most of you don't even know how to bring abundance into your business. So we decided we're gonna help you so that you can help others. See, I believe in the ripple effect. Now, my personal guarantee is this. Take action now. Come to this training. If you ain't 100% satisfied, simply let me know, and we'll give your money back. That's my challenge. And again, for $97, my friends, this is an absolute price discount. But make sure you put in the code so that you can get that discount. Some people, you won't put the code in for your forget. That's fine with you. Now, I want to create a couple other special gifts for you. One of the special gifts that I want to give to you is this. For the first 10 of you that take action now, I'm also going to include the personal branding action plan. This is imperative and very important for you. My partner, Bray, has mapped out exactly what to do, right, to get customer. We've got to share with you how to get customers now. You've got to get customers and cash flows into your business. So we're going to include that as a bonus, and that's an extra $500 bonus we're giving to you. I've got another special bonus that we're including, which is our private Facebook community. I believe you become who you surround yourself with most. So obviously, if you check my name out, you will see all the celebrity speakers that have worked with me. And we have a private face group community where you'll be able to network with other famous speakers and authors around the world, joint venture, ask questions. Hey, I have a problem with this so that you can work with other very successful people in the world. So we're including that which is a $9.97 offer. We're giving that to you today in this one. I've got a mega, mega bonus. 
What I'm going to do is you probably say, Dave, I don't know what my offer is. I don't know what I'm going to sell. How many of you are in a situation where, Dave, if I do a webinar, I don't know what I'm going to sell? Let me see your hands. Anybody have that problem? So what I'm going to do is, during this training, I'm going to give you my irresistible offer blueprint. I'm going to take somebody and I'm going to show you how to write your offer. And I'm going to do a hot seat. And you're gonna sh I'm going to share with you and write somebody's offer like this. See, one of the cool things is, as we're building your business and other people's businesses, you get to see and you get to learn. And to me, that's a $2,500 bonus that we're including today. So again, you're going to get the Celebritize Your Brand 7P experience. And the reason we're doing this is because to give you the authority, attract clients, raise your prices, get more sales. And again, you get everything we talked about at this training. And again, this is a presentation that I do that we sell for $9.97. Obviously, you guys know the business. You're in the speaking business. And with all the bonuses, it's a $7,000 value. But today, your totally risk-free investment is only $97, my friends. However, please put the code in there to get the discount. So my biggest question for you is this. Are you worth this investment? Is your family worth this investment? Is the world worth the investment, my friends? All I want you to do is take action now. Take that leap of faith. Join us. Let us help you build your business out. Let us show you exactly what to do in this business, my friends. So again, I want to thank all of you for being here. I'm not sure if Jay, um, you can end this up. But my, my, my commitment is this to you. I want you to consider taking all of the chatter, turn the TV off, really step into your greatness, step into your destiny. The time is now. Now is the time. Don't let your fear, don't let your story, don't whatever it is telling you in your mind, stopping you from getting your message out and changing the world. I've been teaching speakers and authors for the last 10 years of my life. Now is the time. It's time for us to get back to work, get out there, start serving people and helping people.